Hmm. I want to buy a sedan. So which car should I buy? Do you know what a sedan is? A sedan is like this. It's just a normal car with four doors. It has a front piece where the engine is and it has the, the back piece uh, where you put your luggage, right? Unless it's a Tesla. An electric car, lots of times electric cars have the engine in the back and you put your suitcases in the front. Okay, but normal cars are like this. Sedans have four doors and a hood area and a trunk. Okay, this is called the hood, that's called the trunk. Now, what if it only has two doors? If it only has two doors, then it's called a coupe. A coupe. Okay, so lots of, you know, more sporty cars are coupes. Okay, so sometimes you can buy a sedan version of a car or a coupe version, okay? Like a BMW 3 Series here in Canada or the US. You could buy it as a sedan or as a coupe if you want it to be a little bit more sporty. But then it makes it harder for people to get into the back seat, right? So that's not that good, but it's all up to your preference. Okay, now this one is a hatchback. A hatchback. Okay, the reason it's called a hatchback is because it has a back like this. You, you open it up like that. It doesn't really have a trunk. Okay, this is called a convertible. A convertible. It doesn't have a top. Okay, the word convert means it can change. Okay, so, so convertibles can have a roof, right, most of the time, or you can take it back on a nice sunny day and you can go for a drive just like this and feel the wind in your hair. That would be kind of fun to own a convertible. How about you? Do you own a convertible? All right, now, these kinds of vehicles are called vans. Vans, right? Here is a, a normal family van. Now, that kind of van is often called a hippie van. A hippie van. Do you know what hippie means? A hippie is a person. Okay, so these are hippies here. They're sort of interesting kinds of people. Okay, like this. All of their stuff is very colorful. Uh, they love nature. A lot of times they live out in the woods or they live in a van like this. Look, it says peace on the side. So hippies are, are all about peace, loving the earth, nature, that kind of thing. Okay, now here we have a pickup truck. A pickup truck. Or you can just call it a truck. Or you could just call it a pickup. Okay, it's your choice. Um, pickup trucks are pretty cool. Uh, now, another kind of truck is a semi truck. Okay, this huge thing is a semi truck or just a semi for short. You could say, wow, look at that semi. It has 21 wheels. Okay, this one doesn't. This one probably is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know how many. These ones, last ones, they're probably two wheels each or two tires each. Okay, I've seen some semis that have 21 or more wheels. When I was a kid, my brothers and I used to count uh, the, the wheels on the semis to see if we could find one with the most wheels. Okay, now some people say semi. So this word can be pronounced semi or semi. It's your choice. Most people in the USA pronounce it semi and a lot of people in Canada also pronounce it semi but I pronounce it semi. Okay, now here we have an SUV, an SUV. This stands for Sports Utility Vehicle. Okay, it's sort of a cross between a van and a truck, right? It has this back piece, uh, but it's covered, okay? And it's, it's more tough than a van. Okay, this is probably a Toyota 4Runner. Okay, so you can take a 4Runner 
off-roading it has four by four right so it means all four tires are moving at the same time you can go off into the mountains and, and do whatever you want I personally I would love to own an SUV they're really cool okay here we have a VW Beetle or just a bug for short very often people just call it a beetle or a bug now we have a game in English that a lot of people play where if you see a bug you punch someone on the arm and you say slug bug then the color of the vehicle okay slug bug blue or slug bug red slug bug pink okay so that's sort of a funny game I don't know who thought of it and then people keep score okay so if I and it's the first person to see it so if I see it first then I punch you slug bug blue or slug bug green and then you can't you can't punch me back so I won that one and then we keep track very often if people go are going on a, a road trip or something then they keep track they keep count to see who wins in the end okay now this is a motorcycle but most people would just call it a motorbike a motorbike or even just a bike okay uh, here's a scooter and this kind of vehicle is called a camper van or an RV okay look at that you can go camping in a vehicle and you don't have to set up a tent you can sleep in there you can cook your food in there you can use the bathroom in there watch TV anything you want right in there <laughs> you don't even have to leave so what's the purpose of going camping if you just stay inside there the whole time I don't know so we would usually use the the term RV if it's a big thing like like almost like a bus some people have huge RVs that almost look like a bus and if it's a, if it's sort of smaller like this or smaller then we would use the word camper van okay so those are some of the vehicles that you'll see on the road here in Canada and the US but I want to know about you what's your favorite kind of vehicle which one do you want let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV take care